guys what is up welcome back to another summer week in my life in tampa i'm starting off a little voiceover to kind of let you guys know what i did i went to my friend morgan's house we got on her boat and we went to the tampa bay lightning celebration of the stanley cup parade i don't know what else to call it basically a ton of boats just drove up to watch the parade so the players came through holding the stanley cup it was so cool such a tampa moment like only tampa there'd be a boat parade instead of like an actual one it was so much fun i'm so glad i got to be there Um, and then we went back to morgan's house and jumped in the pool just to kind of refresh ourselves from the boat it and we went at like I literally left my house at 8.30 a.m. and the parade was at 11. So it was an early day. Went to Fresh Kitchen for some lunch. It was delicious. I love that place so much. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another summer week in my life. I didn't get to formally introduce it because I woke up early, headed to the lightning parade. It was so much fun. Stanley Cup, back to back. A blast. I got back and showered. I picked my mom up from the airport. She was on a girl's trip this weekend. So now it's almost eight o'clock i feel so refreshed i went to the pool boat and like you know the showers are just the best about to just get on some comfy clothes and my dad's heading over because my mom and her boyfriend went to dinner my dad's bringing me over some sushi and kombucha and we're just gonna hang out um because he was at work today and then i just have like a video to edit tonight and nothing really crazy so today was a really really fun day it's gonna be a good week. And then this Friday, I'm headed to Athens for one last time to pretend I'm still in college and fully move out of my apartment. There will be vlogs, we are going out. I am so excited. Um, so yeah, this vlog will end this Thursday, but we've got some fun things going on, going to the beach, getting things in the mail that I wanna show you guys because I just can't stop shopping. And yeah, but that's that. Welcome back to another week of my life. Subscribe if you're new here. And yeah, let's eat some sushi. Dad got all kinds of sushi. California roll for me. It's the only kind of like in vegetable rolls. Oh my God. Oh, did I forget the kombucha? Oh, it's okay. It's in my refrigerator. I'll get it later. Okay. It's okay. Something to say to the vlog? It's a new week. It's Tropical Storm Dad, and I want to say hi, girls. <laughs> he went viral on TikTok, you guys. 3.3 million views. That's my most viewed TikTok ever. Anything ever. Anything ever. My videos haven't even hit that, obviously. Oh, the sun is so beautiful right now. So gorgeous. It's always so pretty after it rains. Maybe we could watch an episode of Ted Lasso in a little yeah, sure. while we eat. I am obsessed with the show. It makes me want to be a better person. Like, he's so nice. And funny yeah. and innocent. Yeah, I've seen the series, but I'll watch it again. It's so good. It's about 10.30. Just watched three episodes of Ted Lasso. Gonna hop into bed, read a little bit, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Night. Good morning, everybody. I'm starting our day off with another day on the Doing Well Daily page. Today's quote, going with the idea that nothing can stop me. I love it. Gonna start filling it out, starting my intentions for the day, and also planning the day. Got this candle from Nordstrom Rack last week and it smells so good. It really just smells like roses. I really like Nordstrom Rack candles. They're so inexpensive for these big candles. If you guys saw last week's Week in My Life vlog, I got this one too. It was $20, it's huge, and it smells exactly like the Capri Blue Volcano candle. Out for the day, wearing another one of these Amazon sets. I showed the orange one in last week's vlog and I fell so much in love. I went to more colors because they're so inexpensive. They're like $28 on Amazon. I got this blue color and like a lime green. The orange set I have is in a size small. I wanted to try a medium and see. I like how the bottoms fit better. The top though is a little loose. There's adjustable straps in the back. Um, so maybe I just need to adjust them a little bit more, but I love this set, it's so good for going for your hot girl walk. It just makes me feel productive just wearing it. On the docket for today, it feels like a Monday, but it's totally a Tuesday. Um, Brooke and I are recording another episode of Gals on the Go podcast. We're doing an episode all about things we're loving right now, our current favorites. I love episodes like this where we just talk about things we're loving and then obviously we do a catch up in the beginning. I have lots of stuff I've written down I wanna catch up with. We do our highlights and lowlights, questions of the week, all the fun sorts. So make sure to listen to our podcast new episodes every wednesday so make sure to listen to our podcast new episodes every wednesday i haven't had coffee today so i'm a little sleepy but recording with brooke always puts me in the best mood and gets me nice and awake we have a lot to do today so i'm feeling a little anxious just because there is a lot i literally need to accomplish today but i'm also I like being busy, so I try to switch my mindset to, oh, this is so exciting, I have things to do. Because on days when I have nothing to do, I get bored and sad. I don't know if anyone else relates. 
Um, but today, so we're recording with Brooke. And then obviously I have to submit this podcast to our producer. I have a Zoom meeting at 12. I have a Brazilian appointment at 1 RIP, but also I'm pretty pumped about it because I feel like a queen after. At 4, we have a Gals on the Go call. Um, so those are all like the meeting things I have. But then within that, I need to go to the um, post office and return a package. I need to edit two vlogs. I want to post my Miami weekend in my life tomorrow. And then I also have a week in my life from last week, which you guys would have already seen by now. But I haven't edited that yet. And I need to edit that. And I also really want to get my jeans tailored. I have a pile of jeans that I need to get altered to fit my waist. And I haven't taken them yet, and it won't take that long once I go, but I just really need to go. So these are the things I want to get done. So yeah, we've got a big day ahead of us, but that's exciting. We love things to do. Um, I'm just like not in the mindset yet. So yeah, that's what's going on today. Can't wait to take you guys along. Um, I'll just be kind of in and out of Zooms. The next Zoom I want to look a little bit better for, so I'll probably dress up. I also really would like to go for a hot girl walk today. I was going to do that this morning, but instead I ate oatmeal and watched an episode of Ted Lasso because I'm obsessed. So yeah, Brooke's about to FaceTime me. We're about to do this thing. Um, I'm so excited. It'll get me in a good mindset for the day. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> look at you. A fresh sister. <laughs> I was about to brush my teeth and have you catch me up on your life. So. Oh, perfect. Let's start. <laughs> And Danielle, welcome back to another episode, you guys. How we doing out there? <laughs> how we doing? Podcast recording done. Ginger shot time. Woo, that always wakes me up. Okay, see you guys after my next meeting. All right, guys, second meeting's done. Oh, I forgot my hair's in my claw clip. Um, just popped on my little orange shoulder bag. I love it. I'll link it down below. Urban Outfitters. Slides. Headed to go get a wax. Okay guys, I'm here to tell you your second wax experience, if you like stay consistent, that was so much easier. It was probably about the same time. It was just way less painful. I also think cause your hair like thins out and it grows back less more and more you do it. So I think I'm definitely gonna stick on the routine of this. That was just, oh, such a better experience. I'm so happy, it's such a relief. And I purchased the um, body polish cause it also has hair growth minimizer. Um, which I think we've gotten in the past from Gals in the Go, but I had already used it all. Um, and it's just good to like exfoliate your skin, obviously. Um, especially when you're getting wax and hair removal and all that. So I am really happy about that situation. So happy that I'm gonna go get a juice. I love my family so much. I literally walk into the juice place and my mom and my brother are there. They both had driven separately there, so we all just accidentally went to the juice place together. So we, so Freddie was like leaving, but my mom and I sat and chatted for a while. It was so funny. I like everyone in the juice place was like, oh, "Of course, you Carolyns are all here." And I got a little pitiable. It was delicious. Chatted with my mom, and now I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna take Finley for a hot girl walk. I come over and he immediately just rolls on his belly. <gasps> Finn, hello. I can't with your cuteness. Oh, I wish you guys could just pet him. He's the fluffiest thing. Finley, come here. Come here. Come here, Finley. Come here. Finley, over here. Over here. Come here. So pumped. Got more Billy Razor heads in the mail. The best. Finley, hi. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. You could be gone for five minutes, you could be gone for an hour. He is like the most excited boy ever to see you. He just got groomed yesterday. Oh, Philly, you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah? Oh my god, he has like human eyes. You wanna go for a walk? Yes. All right, the walk was great. Now I'm hopping on a call to talk about marketing for Girls on the Go podcast, which is always fun. And then that's the last meeting for the day. And then I'm just gonna edit and chill and watch more Ted Lasso for sure. I'm so happy the overwhelming part of the day is over and I'm relaxed. And I mean, that's just good in itself. So I've just been editing and chilling out. It's been raining, it's so cozy. And they just came in. I just got a package and I told you guys I wanna show you some of the packages I'm getting in the mail. Come here, look, he's so perfect. Look how perfect Finley, say hi. You can see his eyes now that he got groomed. Oh, I love you. 
He was like, okay. So I ordered something off of Storettes. They always have really just trendy, cool, pretty good quality pieces. So I'll link this down below. I've been eyeing this blazer for a while. Hailey Bieber has some similar. I love this green color, as you guys probably know. And I love this blazer. It's oversized. I got a size small, medium. Um, Cause they're made specifically oversized, like kind of like a men's fit. It's got short, oh, I missed one of the buttons. So here it is, I love it. I wanted it to be oversized small. I mean, I could have probably gotten the extra small, small, but I thought for sure it'd be oversized enough. I love this. Obviously I wouldn't wear it with this set. My vision for this, white crop tank, denim shorts. Boom, done. With hair just like this, gold hoops, a little bag, and some sneakers maybe my all saints sneakers to switch it up from the air forces i think that would be such a look i think that's one of the looks i'm gonna go for when i'm in new york touring apartments because because it's super lightweight like this is definitely a summer blazer roll up the sleeves a little bit like so cute i will link this blazer down below they had a lot of colors too and oh my gosh i'm obsessed finley is obsessed with this orange owl we've bought like five of them he just threw it over there for himself, and then he's like, oh gosh, I can't get it. He loves this thing. It's his kryptonite. <laughs> and then he like throws it for himself. <laughs> Woo, get it, get it, get it. Let's see what dinner's like. Ooh. Chicken and yellow rice. I'm just sitting here editing, and Freddie comes in and throws his hat on me. It's never too late to work out one. It's 10.46, I'm still editing. Go get Hi, Finn. Hi. He's with his ball. Howdy. Editing, because I want the food to go up tomorrow, so I'm like, good morning. Good morning, Angel. Cuban toast, we love that. Making some eggs. Morning hugs. <laughs> Yay, look at you. Just uploaded today's video, We Get In My Life Miami. I'm so excited about this one. We're getting dressed for the day. Wednesdays are always really exciting because I post a new episode of Gals in the Go podcast and I always post a new video. However, with that, I'm on my phone a lot when I first wake up because I'm promoting the podcast, I'm promoting my new video, doing the thumbnail, all that fun stuff. So I feel like my head really hurts right now because I was just looking at my phone all morning, but I also love Wednesday mornings. It's like Christmas morning. Um, putting on one of my Amazon workout sets. I'll link it down below. Biker shorts. This little cap sleeve top. We're gonna go get coffee with my dad at our favorite juice spot. They also have great organic coffee. Here is the set on. If anybody's wondering, this one's in a size small. I love it. Oh my gosh, with the orange bag. It's summer! <laughs> I should probably work out today, considering I'm wearing this outfit. We'll see if that happens. But we're gonna go get coffee first. Baby, you're so damn fine, though. Bye. It's sunny out. Good morning. Lighting's no good for me. Lighting's really bad. Cheers. Lighting's bad. Cheers to our health. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Cheers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That was a good one. Got a oat milk latte. It's absolutely stunning. Pro tip, if you have time, get it for here. It's a better experience. While I was drinking my coffee, we decided to order smoothies to go. <laughs> we are obsessed with this place. I'm so glad my dad and I went to the juice spot because we sat, we got ginger shots, and then we sat down. I had an oat milk latte, got our smoothies, just had a really nice chat. My dad and I have been spending a lot of time together recently, which I'm really thankful for because I know I'm about to move. Um, and today's another day of like calls and fun stuff like that. Got a call at 2 and a call at 4 and I'm actually waiting on a call in about 20 minutes from my realtor. I decided to work with a realtor um, for apartment hunting because they just seem to know their stuff and they also can help provide you with all the forms you're going to need to have filled out so by the time you're ready to, you know, say, okay, I like this apartment, I want it shoot it out so that you have everything done and hopefully the apartment approves you and you get it before other people do because there's a lot of people wanting apartments right now. I talked to her in 20 minutes. We just got introduced, so I'm excited about that. Finley's just being so freaking precious right now. He was out in the living room and then I came in and he went to my room and he was like, wait, I wanna hang. So another New York fun thing is that 
landlords are, since like the pandemic, they started paying the broker's fee. Okay. So a lot, a lot of buildings, landlords um, are paying what typically would be on the renter to pay. Okay. However, right now, there are definitely some buildings who are not offering that anymore. So I'm happy to look into everything for you. Okay. I always start with, we call it like no fee. Just got off the phone with Mackenzie. She's literally the best. I am so happy I'm working with her. She just totally understood everything I was looking for um has a game plan is available next weekend for when my parents are coming and i just think she's she's just so responsive and so easy to talk to so i think that's gonna be a great situation so i'm gonna send her buildings that i've kind of already had my eye on and she's gonna do her realtor magic and call them and you know do all of her research and see if anything's coming up that'll be open unfortunately we even though it's a week out we can't like book any tours until probably next wednesday or thursday because if i see something now i like it could be taken by the time i'm ready to tour it so yeah but it's exciting it just put me in the best mood and i she just sent me her email we gonna do this it's gonna be fun all right you guys know what time it is let's see what today's quote is it's time to start living <laughs> all right let's do it all right first call is done and while i was on the phone i got ready for the day i have another meeting at five I got moved from four to five and I want to look professional for that one as well. So I just curled my hair, did my makeup and I have plans with friends tonight. So it's kind of like a double whammy. I am just cracking up at myself. I'm such a multitasker in just every point of my life. Like I think I have a thousand tabs over my brain at all times. I'm doing something to submit to my realtor right now. But then at the same time, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to pull out my hair extensions from my bathroom. So I remember to pack them to bring to Athens. So I'm like about to walk my bathroom there. And I'm like, oh wait, I want to light my candle. I'm like, oh wait, I need to send this email. So like I'm doing everything half at once so that while I'm thinking about it, I at least start the thought so that it happens. It's time for that afternoon liqueur. Also, look how fun this is. It's like PJs. I feel like people wear this like out and about. I probably wouldn't, but it's comfy. Finley just got back from the pool. My brother took him to his friend's house because his friend has a pool that like you walk into because Finley doesn't like, hi, Finley doesn't like normal pools. He doesn't like to jump in. He likes to walk in like a beach. So even though he got groomed yesterday, I guess he's already... Tell me this outfit doesn't give you Hailey Bieber vibes. Like, even the way I styled my hair, I feel like when she does wear her hair down, it's just kind of like this. I'm just wearing this, like, white rib top Princess Polly. Beginning boutique jeans. Blazer I showed you guys yesterday from Struts. My little green Zara heels that match perfectly. I have absolutely nowhere to wear this today. But I might just wear it for my meeting, so I feel as though I'm a boss. I cannot wait till I move to New York so I can just wear this and, like go to the drugstore and it's fine. <laughs> All right, last meeting's done and now I'm headed to hang out with my friends. I'm meeting my friend's boyfriend too for the first time, so I'm excited. I'm really happy with how my hair fell. I just used the dry bar um, three day bender um, curling wand and I just switched off which way the curls went. So I curled out and then I curled in and I really like how they turned out super natural, not like all one curl together. Here's my little outfit of the night. We're going to dinner and it's actually at the beach, but too late to go swimming and stuff so tank top princess polly jeans same ones as earlier from beginning boutique wearing my orange dunks and my orange bag from urban let's go the rain has absolutely wrecked my hair we're at dinner right now but we're leaving dinner really quick to go see the sunset oh my god it's so beautiful just we're morgan and i are <laughs> just gonna say the same thing we stay doing Again. things together oh, it's so beautiful yes and the sunset is different. <laughs> Sunset hits Dippy. <laughs> Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right, you guys. It's hot girl walk time. My mom's gonna join me for this hot girl walk, and Finley, of course, starting the day off. Top is from Beyond Yoga. Love it. A little neon yellow moment. Biker shorts are from Pure Velo. The line. Sneakers are my favorite. Oh, those are my favorite Nike Super Reps. Hello, friends. So it's only, well, now it's about to be 11, but I feel like I've done so much today. Started the day off watching some of the British Open Golf Tournament. It's quite relaxing, I have to say. Um, And had some breakfast, made some oatmeal, went for a walk with my mom, and then we went to our favorite juice spot. And it's just, I love going there because everyone knows my order. 
and you know they know about me and I know them and we just it's so fun to like go and then be like the usual so just like a good time um, and now Brooke and I are actually doing about to do another recording of Gals and the Goat because tomorrow I head to Athens and I won't be back till next Tuesday night and we upload episodes every Wednesday so I thought it would be good to just get ahead and record next week's episode we're talking all about girl code when people cross girl code all the things i'm getting the vibes right before we record i'm loving this nordstrom rack candle it smells like the capri blue candle I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening packing for athens i'll go get gas because i'm driving up brooke say hi to the vlog hi, hi vlog how are you doing today <laughs> what are you drinking I'm drinking a matcha, a little matcha latte, I guess, that I made myself. Look at um, you go. I really didn't blend it well enough because, like, you see the powder on the side here. I need to get better. I Amateur. With the whisking, you know? Yeah, understandable. It looks really I delicious. Want it to be done. Like, <laughs> need my energy and get after it. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. It's Danielle. Brooke's just like over there cheesing and it's making me so happy right now. Just finished recording, made myself a little chicken Caesar salad. Hold the Caesar because I don't use dressing. <laughs> Finley uh, really wants some, but he's not going to get any. Sorry baby, you already got fed. Hey guys, back at it. <laughs> um, I've just been doing computer work and my realtor sent me a ton of listings that she thought I would really like. She looked into some of the buildings that I sent her. And she found one that actually has a balcony, which would be so nice in my price range. Love that. Um, even a week out, I can't get too attached, but she's just keeping her eye on things. And I just love how on top of it she's being. So Mackenzie Kyle at Platinum Properties, she we love her. Um, she did send me a list of requirements that I'm going to need to provide when I apply for all these apartments. There's a ton of documents that they want to see. They obviously have their own application, but they have all these documents. And so she sent this to me ahead of time so I can kind of prepare everything. And I'm glad because there's a lot I need to do. I have to get a letter from my accountant. I have to show my three most recent bank statements, government issued ID. Like some of the stuff are really simple. The things that sometimes they ask for, a landlord reference letter, social security card, business references, copy of a student ID, personal references. So, and I'm going next Thursday. And the goal is like, if I find an apartment and I'm obsessed with it, I'm gonna be like, here, here's everything I want this. Give me it now, just because of how fast everything is. So I have to accumulate all these things. Finley just came in here and like put his paw on the bed like he wanted to get up, so I helped him up. <laughs> how precious. I thought it would be fun to take a look at the jeans that I have in this pile here that I want to get altered because I don't even remember this pile's been here for a while. First pair are from a gold day. These are like the jeans that everyone loves. They're just the straight leg jeans. Can't have enough of them. And these are so cute, but they are just a little big around my waist. Maybe I'm a 27. I don't know, but I find the 28s fit better if I just get them altered because the 27s sometimes are too tight around my thighs. These jean shorts also from Revolve, they're size 28. I need to get the waist taken in. These are actually low rise jeans from Girlfriend Denim. And what size did I get? I feel like I got a 28 because I thought, okay, then that definitely makes sense. But they are also far too big even on my hips being low rise. So I don't know, maybe I'm just a 27, but I just, I like how 28s fit better on my legs. So, um, we'll see. This pair of jeans, I've actually worn a lot of times. What I did was I just, I wore them with blazers and stuff, so I took shoelaces and I just tied them in the back so you can't see. These are from Lioness off of Princess Polly. I love them though. The bottom have a slit. They're so flattering. They look so great with heels. Oh my God, Finley's stretching right now. It's so cute. But since I'm going to get jeans tailored, I thought it'd be good to get the waist taken in on these two. They're basically straight leg with the cool slit. All right, I just called the alterations place that I've been before to get jeans altered and she said if I come now, she'll grab me and help me out because after that she was gonna leave. So I'm getting all these organized, I'm gonna head right over. Guys, also I just got these yoga pants from Spanx. They're the Booty Boost collection and I mean, come on. <laughs> These are, I'm size medium. They look so good with this top. I just like put together this outfit. So nice if you're going from Aaron's and you're going to brunch or I could switch this out with like a sports bra and then it's a workout outfit in itself for yoga. These are so flattering. I'll link them down below. I just, I just had to show you guys. So I kind of made this more of like a street style situation, but then you could switch it up 
and make it, you know, workout outfit. You could wear, you know, some sneakers with it, a tank top, sports bra. Obsessed. All right, I am packing for Athens right now. We have one packing cube full of my shirts, so like fun tanks, going out tops, whatever. And then these three are like workout set stuff for because we're going to be moving and playing. We're going to be playing and doing some work. Um, so I brought two of my Amazon workout sets that I'm obsessed with and my Outdoor Voices exercise dress. Brought a couple pairs of jeans that I'll just kind of mix and match with the tops. I'm not like completely planning outfits that's so dramatic for this trip. And then hopefully these packing cubes will allow me to have a lot more room in this suitcase so that I can bring stuff home in this as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the packing. I'm gonna bring, probably gonna bring my Air Forces and like two other pairs of shoes. Just showered. It is a chilly night. If you guys watched my college week, my life vlogs, you know I made my mom's chili a lot. It is so good. Hey guys, it's a lot later. I'm all packed. Just watched and finished all of Ted Lasso. Such a good show. Got some of my empty bags here to bring stuff back. Got my suitcase packed. It's honestly pretty full. I mean, I'll be able to fit stuff in it still on the way back, but you know made some sleepy time tea, gonna head to bed, wake up around 7 a.m. and hit the road to Athens. It's about a seven, eight hour drive. So we got this. Um, I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys next Sunday for my next video. Bye.